ask me. Okay, the Competition Commission has found that uh, South Africans are paying too much for private health care, adding that patients are sometimes prescribed treatments they don't need by an industry with limited competition. Joining me now to discuss this, Chris Charter is a director and national head at uh, Cliff Decker uh, Hoffmeyer. Thank you, uh, Chris, for coming in. Aren't they telling us what we already know? Um, I think they are. I think, in fact, that's exactly why this whole thing kicked off nearly five years ago. Yeah. Um, it's, no one's going to deny that, that uh, all around the world, including South Africa, particularly the private sector, um, fees are rising, medical aid premiums are increasing, yeah. costs a lot more to get better. Um, what this uh, exercise was designed to do was try and explore the reasons for that. Right. And they spent a great deal of time and thought doing yeah. that. And Four now, years. Four years, yeah. It's a very long time indeed for them to be doing that. And in terms of the findings, anything that struck you in terms of the major findings that they, they, they came up with here? Um, there's some interesting things. Some interesting things came out of the, uh, the inquiry. Um, I think, first of all, which was an eye-opener to me, is that in South Africa, um, we have amongst the highest admission rates into hospitals in the right. world in the private sector. Yeah. Um, our, our ICU admission rates are the highest out of seven benchmarked OECD countries. So that's Maybe we're just a little more country. delicate. We need the health, uh, the, the care of uh, the hospitals. It, it, <laughs> it, it could be. What the, what the inquiry feels is, ironically, we've got too many hospitals right. and too many beds. Right. So they coined this phrase called supply-side um, yeah. inducement, yeah. Um, which really is, is, I don't know if anybody's seen Field of Dreams, where Kevin Costner is told, you know, if you build it, they will come. And that's essentially what, what the inquiry says happens here. Because of increased access to yeah. hospital beds, essentially, yeah. people are admitted more often. Sure. Um, every, hospital, every time you're in hospital, you see three specialists. Every time you see specialists, one's going to put you in ICU. Mm -hmm. And all of that adds up to, to cost. And there is, as well, a subtle finger pointed at the professionals within the industry, isn't it? Uh, there is. So, so the key stakeholders identified in this particular exercise were funders on the one hand, yeah. uh, hospitals and facilities on the other. Um, and uh, practitioners uh, on, on, on the, on the, in the third corner, as it were. Your and practitioners are your doctors, your, your specialists, doctors, your specialists, and specialists etc. other people, yeah. yeah. What does this mean for the industry, though? Where do we go from here? So I think the, 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 uh, the exercise has been a valuable one. Um, it's, it's culminated now in preliminary findings and recommendations, and yeah. there are a great number of recommendations. And I right. think, like a, a lot of uh, you know, South African policy makers, the policy is sound. Yeah. I think what we're looking to now is to see people actually implement it. Um, yeah. And that's going to take a lot of political will, will on the part of the, uh, the, the health regulator, will on the part of the private sector to yeah. actually implement some of these recommendations because they work well, I yeah. think, if, if implemented. Right. And fundamental change within the industry in terms of its practices, do you see this uh, having an impact? Um, I'd love to say yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or do they have to change, though, because if the law, well, their recommendations, as you said, right? They're, they're recommendations, and they're, frankly, still up for debate um, as right. to which ones will work. They've been very carefully thought out, in fairness to the inquiry. Um, sure. Good minds have thought about this for a great deal of time. They, they captured 600 gigabytes of data to analyze. Sure. Um, so it's been carefully done. Um, but the stakeholders will continue to chip away at it, I think, uh, and take pot shots at, at the property of the data. Yeah. Um, it will be controversial. Uh, I think that a, a big part of the, the, the recommendation is that the, 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 the uh, health department needs to do its part. Right. Um, if they do that, that's yeah. only half of the equation, obviously. What do you think Iron will do? Uh, I, I think uh, the minister is somewhat preoccupied with NHI at <laughs> yeah. the moment in the public sector. Yeah. Um, I do fear that you know, some of the movements on the public sector is going to cut across this inquiry, which is very much focused on the private sector and almost drew a, a, a clear schism between the two. Yeah. Um, and the recommendations are all very much public sector, uh, private sector focused. And, and I think we need to be careful of letting the two bleed into each other. Otherwise, the recommendations won't work. Absolutely. Chris, let's leave it there. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. That's uh, Chris Chata. He's a director at National Health, uh, National Head, ha, Health, National Head, Cliff Decker.